Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your weekly love forecast horoscope for July 3rd to the 9th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And if you guys are a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second YouTube channel, JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. All right, Pisces, we're going to be looking at your day today your love interest feelings, the blocks, place and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way? Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, I'm gonna have my Pisces Romantic Love Life for July 3rd to the 9th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Pisces, so it's gonna be July 3rd, July 4th, July 5th, July 6th, July 7th, July 8th, July 9th. And remember, feel free, come back, check this out. Let me know how it plays out in your individual situations in the comments below. It's also gonna be the overall outcome. Let's see what the theme of this week is. Four of Pentacles. Someone is coming in with pure intentions and they're seeing the value and the worth in this connection. They want to hold on to you. They want something stable. Four pentacles energy. Okay, so let's see what this blockage is about. So you've been hurt before. You are very cautious and defensive. You're not sure how to proceed because you're looking at memories of the past. And um, you're just like, wow, this happened to me before and I don't want this to happen again. So you're like, okay, what do I desire here? Because we're talking about the nine card energy. Can I fulfill my desires in this situation? Or do I need to, to stand my ground and be protective of my feelings here when it comes to going forward? Okay, so let's move this blockage out of the way. Okay, and let's take a look, Pisces, at the first day. So what's interesting, we're just talking about the nine of cups, and guess what? You guys are gonna get what you want here with the Nine of Cups energy. Now, I don't feel like you're completely seeing it as of yet, but it's coming, okay? Uh, coming very soon here because I see that there's like a veil, there's some things that are in your way or uh, you know, you don't have full view as of yet, but believe me, you're about to see some great signs here and it's about to be exactly what you want, Nine of Cups energy. So let's see. What's going on here? So emotionally, you're about to be fulfilled. What's gonna have my Pisces Romantic Love Life for July 3rd to the 9th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Pisces, let's take a look. It looks like there could be a new person here with a child card energy, all right? So some kind of fresh start, new beginning. Okay, some of you guys may be starting a family, okay? All right, so what's gonna happen? Pisces, Romantic Love Life, July 3rd to the 9th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Hmm. Definitely um, some passionate exercises there on that day, okay. Somebody that you're very attracted to, okay. Let's keep going. Um, hmm, okay. Let's use, let's use this deck over here. Let's have my Pisces Romantic Love Life for July 3rd to the 9th. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so you are spending some alone time with somebody. Mm-hmm. Or I get the sense that there's this very strong magnetic attraction. Uh, and this person's really spending a lot of time thinking about you in a very passionate way, strong attraction. There is a fulfillment of desires here on the third. So let's see what's going on here. So on the fourth, it looks like you guys could be doing some traveling on this day. Someone could be traveling to you. You could be traveling to them. It looks like there's a strong will here. What's this about? So you're getting communication, letter, message, documents about some kind of travel and you're like at a crossroads, what do I do? 
because this is a powerful change. Okay, so it's like, I'm going to wait around and see how things play out. Seven of Pentacles energy on the fifth. There's some sexy sly energy going on, okay. To try to bring things into balance. Definitely getting what you want there. <laughs> okay, so far it's about the sexy energy, this passionate situation, okay. So, we see, I've been thinking about you very deeply. There's this powerful change within the situation, a massive shock and surprise, it's all of a sudden you feel like the situation is like, I just am fulfilling my desires here. This is exactly what I want. Nine of Cups energy. Okay, exactly what I want. So let's go further here. So it seems like could be done with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. There's definitely, some of you guys are getting some advice from a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy or there's this like contemplation of like, do I give my heart to this person? Do I not give my heart to this person? I'm concerned about loss. Ah, okay. Yes, because the blockage was the Nine of Wands saying you're like a little bit cautious about this. You're like, I don't, do I just, you know, do I go all the way in here into this situation? Do I just, yeah, because you see you're still healing here from a loss. And we see that there is love here. There's love, definitely love, attraction. Okay, so you spend some alone time with someone and it's a powerful change and it's exactly what you want. And we see there's love here, beauty and attraction. Hmm, so far so good. Crossing my fingers for you guys. Okay, so. Okay, so by the seventh, you kind of go into this worries and concerns. Okay, okay, why? Definitely still getting a lot of attention here. Hmm, because there could be an ex-partner. There could be an infringing party. Like a family member, friend. Okay. You're having a tough time embracing the future and seeing that there's positivity here. And you're definitely looking very attractive. We are looking like a swan here. So, and it looks like the future head looks very good, very bright. Okay. Sound like there were some fireworks in the background too. All right. Um, fireworks means a celebration. So in the eighth, you're kind of like in this place of I'm defeated. Should I stand up and fight or walk away? And we see there's some kind of gift. You're receiving some kind of invitation. Uh, you're concerned about giving to this energy of money and finance is affecting your romantic love life or you're receiving a gift of money for some of you guys on the 8th what's that about yeah there's definitely something around money and finance about the situation on the 8th we see success card coming out okay let's sit back and just take a look at this so far I've really thought about this this is a powerful change for me and, it, and this person is who I want this person fulfills my desires I have a strong love connection here and I really want to embrace the future and stay optimistic about it. And there is success in your romantic love life here. Okay, so let's keep going. So we got this travel card. So some of you guys may be traveling on the ninth or you're just realizing by the ninth it's like, you know what, I finally see the light in the tunnel here. I finally know that it's over, this tough situation is over, and I've overcome my obstacles, my blockages, it's over. I've moved past this now. There's a healing, recovery, love, with six card energy coming out. But I still feel like you guys are kind of like looking and saying, okay, can I really just let this go with the flow here in this situation? Is it really okay? And I'm like, you're getting confirmation too. You're gonna to be getting confirmation too. Because I get, I get, I see there's dragonflies in this card. Dragonflies means very great, powerful transformational changes. 
Yeah, there's somebody who is in your, there's definitely someone who's thinking about you. Thinking about you, has thoughts about you. And there's strong feelings here. Romance. Again, we see a travel card coming out. So this person is far away from you. There's some travel involved with this situation. Okay, so traveling for work possibly. So I've been thinking about you very deeply. This is a powerful change. It's a massive shock and surprise, but this is exactly what I want. So you're getting exactly what you want. There is a love connection here. There is a positivity, embracing the future. Definitely if someone is noticing you, you're, you're, they're appreciating your beauty, or you're, they're very attracted to you. There's success and there's things coming to light about this, okay. But obviously because of this situation from the past, you know, this is why there's this defensive kind of energy. You can see it very clearly. I have strong chemistry and passion, but I'm at a crossroads because of having to be patient for things to come into balance and healing a situation with an ex-partner because of money and finance involved in the situation, but I have strong feelings, romance. Okay, um, there's something about this. Okay, so child card can be um, something small, small communication. Okay, child card can be naivete, playful message. Sly, slick energy is taken away, giving you a lot of attention, receiving some kind of invitation, getting a gift, and someone who is definitely thinking about you. All of a sudden, I like hear like almost like sounds like an engine. Yeah, it's like it's really revving up. So there's a situation that's really getting more energy surging in this situation. There's a surge of power. You fulfill my desires. I'm going to travel toward you. I have strong a strong will here to wait to give it time. I really want to give my heart, I want love and devotion, but I'm worried and concerned and defeat it. But I'm finally seeing that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and I can overcome these obstacles and there's movement here. We look at the numbers of this. Fulfillment of desires, victory, lots of thinking, patience, fulfillment of desires, massive change because of healing, recovery, and love. Five, uh, six card energy. Okay, so. Let's go to your um, your love interest feelings for a second here. Okay, so then we're gonna go back to the blockage. All right, we've got the strength card. We got the nine of pentacles. We got this five of pentacles. I feel like I've regained my confidence here and have a sense of independence. So this person feels like they're financially, they need a sense of independence. Like they feel like if they're not financially independent, you're gonna leave them out in the cold. I want to cut away unhealthy things from the past. I'm getting some advice here to how to assert myself in this situation. I want to know, can there be a positive turn of events? Because I feel bad about what happened. I feel like there's a path for us, a, pl a path of, of pleasure and happiness. Because I realized that I love you. And I discovered this about us when we were having fun, when we were enjoying each other's company and we were being happy. Okay. So strength card, confidence, sense of independence, selfishness that caused this loss. Lots of soul searching, isolation, separation, and we see a loss there. They feel like they're, they've been left out in the cold or there's a loss in the connection. Okay, so let's come back to your blockage. So we see there's this cautious energy around this reunion. And there's a heart-to-heart -heart conversation 
and you're, you're not sure if you can trust the signs. That's what I was, I was talking about. Like the Nine of Cups is showing me you're fulfilling your desires, but it's like there was something that's kind of obstructing you from really seeing it fully, like realizing it. Um, and I can see that you're getting miracles and signs, but it's like you're like cautious about it because of some kind of conversation about memories of the past or something to do with the past. Okay, so let's go to the overall outcome here. Okay, overall outcome is saying, Pisces, I'm, I'm heartbroken, I'm sad, I've been crying. And I'm confused about what to do. And there's something that's coming in that you've been waiting for. I got some help, some counseling, possibly from a friend, a sister, daughter. I want to resolve this situation, heal it. I can't stop thinking about you. I'm very cautious and defensive and confused about what to do. This commitment, engagement, or marriage, I'm hopeful. And then there's a massive shock and surprise and massive change in the situation. You make me happy. I've been thinking about this very deeply and the timing is right. There's this commitment. We see that there's this infringing party or a lot of self-doubt. I'm single and available to pursue. I wanna be here for you. I want loyalty and devotion. I know there's restrictions and boundaries and you're cautious about this, but I'm hopeful of the future. I wanna bring things to light to you and come out of being left out in the cold because of this potential with us. We can overcome these obstacles. I found the path. There's a massive shock and surprise, a change. We have a fresh start, a new opportunity here and actions that are being taken here towards thriving. And we see people involved in massive changes, positive changes. Okay, what are you waiting for? Let's see. There's romance here. Someone's being romantic with you. You're getting new understanding, new perspective about the situation. Possibly some of you guys may feel a little bit naive. We see that there's advice being given, patient energy. There's a decision being made this week. You're getting answers and clarity, Ace of Swords, about how to find a creative solution to work together, to build something here. Where you're building something, where there's something to do about clarity around this work situation, Three of Pentacles energy. So let's see. Someone has been helping someone, giving them advice. And this has caused a commitment and loyalty and devotion to that person. We see that there is two infringing parties here which have caused some kind of cautiousness. I want to heal the situation. I'm single and available to pursue. And there's hopefulness about it. I'm heartbroken and sad. I just want to help you. I want to be there for you. I want to do things for you. I want to be romantic. I've made the decision. Justice represents just choice, just decision, something legal here, marriage, divorce. I've been confused. Is there some kind of hidden peril? You get some new understanding and clarity and answers, Ace of Swords energy about the situation. This is what you've been waiting for. We see there's some advice and we see a creative solution here. I wanna to work together. I wanna to work together to find a creative solution. This is what you've been waiting for. I'm obsessed here. I can't stop thinking about you and I'm committed to making you happy. I'm cautious and defensive about the situation, but I'm hopeful and I've been thinking about you very deeply. Pisces, I know you have been confused about the situation, but get ready for this massive change. Things are aligning for you. You have a blessing coming in and it's the right time now. 
Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Can I suffice for Pisces when it comes to a romantic love life for their highest best good for the best possible outcome for them when it comes to a romantic love life for July 3rd to the 9th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two, C. Get ready for a change. You will have to make a decision. Follow your heart. You are about to receive communication. Think about this. The timing is right. It's all aligning for you. Guys, you're another um, sign actually is getting blessings this week. So definitely cross watch. If you guys, like that's why I always tell you guys to cross watch. Check your sun, moon, rising sign. You'll get more information. You already know deeply that you've been getting signs. Okay, pay attention to the signs. Listen to your intuition. Don't question it. Just move forward. Follow your soul's path here. We see people involve a situation where you have multiple choices. You're going to have to make a decision. We see you'll overcome your obstacles here. So the ball is in your court, Pisces. Okay? So my beautiful Pisces, you know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much. You know I love to read my comments. So you claim this message. You feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me or you, you know, or you want to, um, if this resonates with you, please let me know in the comments below. I do love hearing from you guys. Guys, they're also your monthlies are up and available for you guys to watch for July, which covers love, wealth, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know. There's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. Of course, also the the weeklies, excuse me, the bi-weeklies, um, true intentions, new love, um, let's see, the next three months. Um, and also the yearlies are up too for 2023. So you guys can go check that out as well. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in another date or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.